Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the Traders Hunt. See me, see me, your host on this Traders journey, right? And again, guys, if you're looking for that channel where you get an expert like myself, come share the screen, show you just how to trade and make money in the month of February. Then this is the channel to be. If you've been trading and you've not really, really been getting a hand of this. When you think the market is not is trying to buy, it's now selling. When you think the market is trying to sell, it's now buy. It's more like you're always the market is always against you, right? You're feeling frustrating already. You're getting so tired of the game already. Then this is the channel you need to stick to. Because this way I get to show you what to do, how to do it, and how to make that first withdrawals you've been dreaming of, right? So if because at the end of the day, the proof of knowledge in the market is your withdrawals. Right, it's your withdrawal that you're able to make withdrawals show us that you're making money from this thing. That's the price, what and that's what everyone cares about. So, if you're looking out to do that, then you want to stick to this channel, you want to watch this video to the very end. And but, and very importantly, you want to also subscribe to this channel, you want to turn on notification, you want to give this video a like and a thumbs up, and also leave me a comment on the base on the values you'll be getting on this video, because I am sure. At the end of this video, there'll be so much for you to take on, right? And also, a big shout out to the Forex Mastery students and also the Crypto Master students and those who are taking my courses on synthetic synthesis, right? Because we are, we've got a lot of stores cooking, right? There's been a lot of, I know I promised you guys some calls on uh, some crypto videos, some videos on synthetic synthesis. Trust me, guys, it's not really been easy, right? I'm having a very, very busy schedule, right? So being able to come out here every time to put these videos out, it's not really easy, but I'm going to be doing my best and make sure I start something really beautiful for you guys soon around the, around the crypto space. And for those who are interested in synthetics, they'll be coming up, showing up for you guys soonest, right? Let me just get some weights off me, right? Now, the, to the topic of the day, how to trade and make money in February. January, like it is classically, uh, like uh, uh, it has been classified to be one month where we expect to see a lot of range, right? You have to expect to see a lot of range, and it has not filled, right? Not like we, we had a choppy market in December, now we have a range in January, so definitely February, March, are those, is that period you want to see, where you start seeing some breakouts, right? February, March is one period where you start seeing some breakouts and massive moves. Right, so if you, this way, this is where the party starts. The party is just you're just getting started, right? The party is just getting started, guys, and you don't want to miss out, right? Trust me, you don't want to miss out on what is happening and what is going on. And this is a typical characteristic of the market that I have shared in the book, the uh, uh, the technical playbook from Q1 to Q4 for for, for forex trader. So from Q1, which is from January to March, that's a certain that is a certain behavior and certain characteristics we expect from the market, and we have seen it display such displaying it already as I've described in the in the book. So if you're not getting that book, trust me, I, I don't know, I don't know how I don't know how you'll be able to survive the market this year, especially this year, right? Because trust me, there's a lot of money to make from the market, but then you need to have access to information. As these are some of these informations are not free. Right, I can't say there's a lot I would want to share, but I cannot share here. A lot of these things are I, I teach in my premium programs, in my my premium courses, in my books. So these the cheapest resources I have are my books. Get them. Right, the Trader Psychology Bible is one of the books right, you need to get, and also the Traders and the Technical Playbook from Q1 to Q4 for Forex Traders, and also when you've made this money, how do you? How, how do you manage this money? How do you make best, the best use of this money? How do you invest this money? This is where my book comes. This is my, 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 one of my first books comes in place, right? The, the four cardinals of money. The four cardinals of money. You need to, it's just, it's wanting to make money. It's wanting for you to understand how to use this money and what to use this money for, right? And how to actually, um, uh, uh, multiply this with money you're making from the market, right? So, guys, there's a lot you there's a lot of information you need, and these things are not just available on the platter. You need to just invest a token to access them, right? So, these books, three books are available. Send me a message on the description section 
to access them again. Well, I have a mentorship program, right? A three months mentorship program, which I will soon be converting to a one year mentorship program, right? To help you guys get and make the most of the market, get the proper education, once and for all education that will take you for a lifetime, right? Because one, one thing is certain, by the end of my programs with my students, with you, by, my, by the end of my training with you, definitely. You will be, you will be, you will be telling a different story about your finances and about the markets. Trust me, you're gonna be telling a very different story compared to what you're having right now. You're gonna be having a better story, better results, more withdrawals. But that's just the characteristic of my programs, my mentorship programs. Right now, enough of that. Let's come back to the business of the day, which is the market. Right. So how do you trade and make money in February? Now before I talk about that, one of the first things you know, uh, I need you guys to get again is education. Education, right? Invest in the first mastery program. We also have the crypto mastery program. We also have the synthetics mastery program, right? And you take one or two of these. If, if, if you can invest in all, please do, right? So the cost fee, the fee again is just two hundred dollars for this pro eight of these programs. But you know, any of them, any of the programs you're taking. Just two hundred dollars, and you have a, we have a, we have a complete master class for three months, non-stop, right? For three months, non-stop. You have a complete mentorship program with me for three months, non-stop, right? So that is again, um, so maybe it it might be a little high for some persons, but then I feel it's cheap, right? and and ultimately it's also so cheap. For many persons who have come to take who have taken the program because compared to the value you get in the programs, trust me, it's a, it's a lot, so much, so much, so cheap. Right? I'm not all fingers are not equal, but trust me, twenty dollars is a very, very good price to access a mentorship programs program around the financial market. One with with one with proven results and track records, right? So please ensure you enroll for my programs. The link is down below. Send me a WhatsApp message or to access the, the end of the courses from mm -hmm. Sela.co. Right? So guys, this is that about that. So let's again come back to the business of the day. Come back, come back to the business of the day. Now this is the XY. Right? So this is the XY from the monthly. Let's look at it from the from the monthly time frame. Right? From the monthly time frame, we're looking at the XY. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm not going to issue my network. All right, guys, this is the XY from the money time for me. You can see how it's been building up. You can see how it's been building up. We've been building up from here. Winch, breakout, winch, breakout. Now, came back out. Now, we've been at inside this range since last year, guys. Right? Since last, since December 2022, price has been playing inside this range. So, this will be the second DA. The price has just been playing this. That the US dollar has just been playing around this range, right? This would be this would be the second year we are having this range, right? This would be the second year we are having this range. So, what what does it does this really entail? What is really really happening, and why is all this happening, right? And why is this what all this? Why is the dollar stalling? Stalling? St what the dollar has just been stalling since uh uh the so ranging since uh December 2022 inside this box, right? So what's the way forward and how do we really, 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 really uh get out of this and what's going to happen to make this happen? Uh, how do we get out of this stalation? Let me work stalation. I think I feel with the U.S. elections coming on this year, right? Uh, that will give the dollar a lot of uh, some massive boosts. That will give the dollar some massive boosts and also some other events as well. Because playing the uh, playing out this is so, I, I want to believe that uh, that with the elections coming up and so, some other events coming up, we, we might be seeing the dollar breaking out massively yeah. to this to this zone, right? To this green bar. Right, I might see some major that, that breakout we're looking for might just happen. That will just happen. 
So this is it now from the weekly time frame. You can see we are still playing totally around this range, just playing this range. But then overall price has been bullish. Right? Price has been bullish. Right, the market has just been bullish. Right? Every time we touch this point, we will move, if we touch it, we move, we came there, we move, we came there again. Now we are moving. So for the past one, two, three, four, five, the past five weeks, the US dollar has been bullish. For the past five weeks, the US dollar has been bullish. Now, what's the data if I'm saying? Now, what data if I'm saying to us about, about this? What's the can you second guys? What's the day? So you can see the daily time frame. So you can see how the daily time frame is responding to the market. We've been having let me, let me give this naked chart. This naked chart, right? So we will we'll, we'll move up sideways, move up sideways. Now we are about to move up, right? With this strong bullish close we are having around here. Uh, it's more, more, more likely we're going to be seeing price shooting up, right? So, but some prices are already saying, some prices are already saying that we're having a break, we already have a breakout already around this range, right? Some prices are already saying because you know that was a range here first and we broke, that we broke. Now, that we another one, sorry, 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 let me take this out, let me take this out. Let's take, take, take this out. Let's take this out. So, um, so this is it, right? Let's take this out mm -hmm. and let's see this again. Right. Uh, now, this is another range we have here. There's a strong, very strong bullish kind of happening around this range now. <laughs> This is a very strong engulfing. That has changed the price has engulfed this this bullish candle engulfed all these candles around it, showing you that showing you the bullish power on the bullish momentum on the US dollar, right? Signifying strength, showing and a, and, a, and a testament to the fact that price we could, we might be seeing price around this resistance soon, around the 105 region soon, right? We'll be seeing price around the one for that's what this actually implies. But anything can happen again because this is <laughs> this is let me just plot this so you can see what I'm saying. Right. Sorry guys, network is really okay. This is this is another threat. Right. This is posing this is already posing. So it's already posing it's this is already posing it's it, it threats around here. Why right. this is already posing a trade that that might think reject price down, but Definitely, this price we expect to see price to this area, right? Definitely, we expect to see price to this area, to this region here, right? We expect to see price to this to this region here. Hi there, guys. So, uh, but I I would also be putting this area, this marking this line for precaution base for the sake of caution. For the sake of course, as well, I'll just be marking this area because uh, my get there and those bounce and fly back down into this range. So let's just see what happens. But then I'm more optimistic that we're going to be seeing price playing up from from here, right? I because of this bullish, strong bullish close that was being that's been sponsored by NFP, right? I've been sponsored by NFP, and definitely we might be seeing price to this area. So even for our our time frame was already shouting breakout breakout but i don't want to take that yet right so guys my network is seriously seriously behaving all right guys you can see what the far is saying far is saying we have we already have a breakout which is very much likely already which look is looking it already well it's looking like it's already it's already looking like like I like already have the breakout already. Right? It's looking like we already have a breakout and definitely if this is real, right? It's definitely it's real anyways. But if this is uh if I love I prefer to see breakouts, confirm breakouts on daily time frames, not for hours, right? So why is it just giving me that likely with that good feeling, but daily confirming it right. Really confirming it, uh, confirming, giving me that, that giving, giving me those breakouts, makes it much a lot more easier, right? 
Daily time frames gives makes it a lot more easier to uh, much make it make validate the breakout, right? Let me, let me use that word. The daily time frame is right to validate the breakout, validates the breakout, right? So the next time frame or the next asset they want to look at is JPY basket, right? What are the JPY pairs? What, are they, what do they look like? What are they seeing, right? And what are they saying? What are they saying? What are they saying from the daily time frame? They are just the structure has not just been nice at all. And the structure has not just been nice. From the weekly time frame, from weekly time frame, we have this, right? We have we have we have all this happening like this. Right, and uh, uh we have daily time frame. Daily time frame and uh, this is already looking nice. This is already looking nice. This this already looking like we have okay. Uh, I think I would let the, I need to try to clear this this green bar first, this green level for me to be for me for me to be sure that this guy is gonna keep fine because this structure is not still structuring at all. And this structure that we have here is not just not just not just it's not, it's not giving at all on JPY on JPY basket. The structure is not giving at all. Let's see from the four-hour time frame. What the four-hour time frame is seeing. Uh, okay, we just not have this trend line here to see, but we might break it down to this green bar for a push up. But we keep price, we just keep falling because that's the 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 yen has been one of the most uh bearish assets we've seen in the recent years across the market across uh, all assets has been the most bearish across all assets it's been the most bearish it has been falling for years should i say years yes for years actually since 2020 it has been falling 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 like some, some like somebody who is in love. Those people like somebody who is in love. So guys, the next very important pair I like to look at is Euro USD. Now, just for the weekly time frame, you can see that like we have it has been bearish, it's been falling, that's just been falling, falling, falling. Right? Euro USD has just been bearish. Right? We've been playing around this range for a long time now. Currently, we have prices seem to be dropping or falling down to this point. Now this area is one important area, so I have to just mark it to see okay because from the daily time frame. So it's one area I looked at I think it's that it's really important. It's really really nice, right? It looks really nice. Let me see. So this guy has been falling from here since this area. So this area, uh let me see something. But if I plot this, if I have to plot this level against this, will this make sense? No, no, no. Though, although we are bearish, but uh, I'm trying to look at the way this has been. So, this is the way you're going to get down to this point, to this zone, or even possibly break it to this level. This is like the major zone to expect to see Euro, Euro USD, right? This was a major one area. Want to? I'll be more confident to if you had to to buy USD around here, right? Or from here, plus maybe if I might just take a little buy from here, this area, if all things being equal, right? On Euro USD, so Euro USD are just bearish, right? So expecting this, so you broke out of this range, came back here, price has just been playing around this area. Right, so we'll go to again NFP and we're tracking back down. So this is the point where price is heading to. So I get here and try to shoot back up before the final crash down. All right. So the next important PLA like to look at is uh, GU. GU has been giving all the vibes. Has been giving some massive vibes. GU has been giving some massive vibes. Right. Although it has been on the range spree from the weekly time frame. Right. From the weekly time frame, this guy has been on a very serious range spree, as you can see it. Right? From the it's just been on a range spree as you can see from here. This is uh we've not been able to press us for, for weeks now, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. 
price has just been inside the plain tickle tickle inside the there have not really been those big moves right of those many respected you can see the many doors so inside this area a lot of accounts have been blown right inside this area a lot of accounts have gone down have, have vanished have turned to vanishing right and this is why again patience is a it's a it's a big deal in this market right this is why patience is a big deal it's a big 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 deal in this market right so you are betting not to trade it in these times when you see the market closing like this right looking like this the, the wisdom not to trade sometimes the looks like as though you are missing but you're not really missing anything that's the truth yeah you miss out on nothing by doing nothing sometimes you're not missing out on anything right so if you notice if you could if you are if if you we are or could take advantage of me of this range always buying selling from here buying from the support selling the support just playing the range you have some persons who have made some persons have made significant money just playing the range some persons made significant money just by playing the range short but have their sell order is and buy order here so my car has been keeping all their orders keeping all their take profit levels by like giving them all the money they want right so if you had playing this if you've been playing this definitely you would have been cashing out on its daily basis on the state right on a daily basis in this market you have been cashing out big time in this market so for now what are we it's really looking more bearish by the day because this looks like okay we have ascended right accumulation ascension distribution now we are about to descend to create another accumulation around the support so just the cycle we go side we accumulate we rise or we buy up to the upside or ascend to the upside then we distribute then descend again the cycle continues until we're able to break out of the this range right they so will to break out of the out of this area right below or above so your job this new week as well this new week is to be very very attentive right if this market is forming something building bullishly around this support level grab it and buy just be, keep playing the range that is, until there's a massive breakout right that, that's just what i've been doing i've just been playing this range on gu right so adusd is one of the uh, one of the interesting pair right from the weekly from the daily to the weekly even the, from the weekly time frame so you can see from the weekly time frame this guy has just been bearish So it's been selling, 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 selling from the middle time frame. Right? For how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five. But right? that's what's in bearish. Right? So in US are just in bearish. So for the for the first time in a long time, it's looking like we have a breakout of this area. And it's looking like maybe like a head and shoulders pattern. For some of you that say head, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and we are trying to break out of this. Piece nice, like more like the neckline. That's about to break to this downside or to this level. To this level, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, we well, so this is what happened what happens on Monday or early Tuesdays. Let's see. I'm gonna keep falling out. The, this area will hold strong and push price back up. I, I can't say for sure, but definitely it's looking like the momentum of the sellers is on the high side. They really want to drop price really wants to drop it is looking nice to drop looking really nice to drop right looking really nice for the boy i need you to wait to see how monday market closes to give it a confirmation to okay to write the to write the the bs price to write the bs so the next thing i'm looking at is ug 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 why it's the most one of the most important peer you and you jpy ps uh, ug has just been oh yes ps jpy ps have done a lot of accounts until friday where we saw this bullish strong bullish candle here
So I'm gonna, I'm, let me see how to open this mic up. Hmm. Then low, uh, higher, low, higher, 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 low, higher, high, higher, low, higher, high. Higher low, higher high. I'm, go, uh, I'm about to go and form the next higher high. Right? So J Pass is looking like it's set to confirm the next higher high, but I will take that more seriously after a break of this area. After price comes out of this green zone above with them, we can start looking we can be more confident to long uh JPY basket. But till then price might just keep respecting and playing this range here. If we are really ready for breakout, then fine. That might happen. Right? But the next very interesting peer I think I want to look at is uh this dude. And USD JPY, right? Just USD Chef, USD Chef, CHF. USD USD Swiss France. Where this is Swiss France, so you can see that price has just been overall has been bearish for the past uh for 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 the for the past weeks that's been bearish. Touch here with drop. Second third third touch the drops and the fourth touch. Then, like I said, not about the like I said something last week. Although we yes, we are touching we are at the fourth touch, but the fourth touch is one touch where often times needs to break out. I will, I've said this last week to us here. It often looks leads to break out. So definitely most likely we might see USD chair breaking out to the upside. But there's also the likelihood of price just changing the course. We're expecting this trend to drop further it is possible right so you can see every time we touch this trend we drop we touch this we touch this trend line looking like we want price wants to drop back down right but definitely with this kind of momentum i'm seeing this is not the this is not the momentum any trend line can survive these some momentums are not momentums that any trend can survive so price might keep going up from but let's see how tomorrow again let's see how the monday close is going to look like right so let's see how monday close is gonna look like at our money is gonna look like it's, it's, it's very important to all of us to in this market very important just check out this trend line this uh okay to now move up 69 point something so i might i might bring it down possibly possibly but supposed to also come down from here so you want to be very observant you want to be very observant on this ps on this pier especially to watch watch out for it because it might give us some very nice move right it's very nice move it give us some very nice especially if, you're, if it's coming down but I'm, I think I'm more optimistic that it's going to go up because it's the fourth touch. And that's, it is the fourth touch is usually not the, especially the potential reverser. I just break from it here, like I said that before. Let's see USD card. This is one really very interesting pair that I have been looking at lately. From the daily time frame, you can see that if you introduce this guy from here. To this point, to this lower part, where they pull back to 50% and price has been falling since then. Right, voyage since then, but then the, the structure is not just giving at all on the cheap wire basket, so it would be best to just put this dude here on the service box. I say okay, well, it doesn't matter what you are doing though. No. Break out first, let's see, let then we'll take you seriously. So for the most time from the fall, then you can see that this guy is just in plain inside this box. Just in plain the box. But I want to believe that this guy was gonna keep gonna shoot to the upside, keep going higher because we touch this base already. Price already gone like half, so then we're gonna keep going up. Right? Well, that's on that's on USD card. So the next will be on 
gold but that is gold fairy now my last week i drew this line i told you guys i'm more i'm, I'm more uh sending to go to be more bullish than the sell right i was more bullish expected that you can see oh you know fair so all two at last gold was bullish until not until friday that it became bearish all two it had been bullish all had been bullish 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 not until friday because of nfp news right because of nfp news so guys this is that this is this this is that on gold and uh, different so what's why what should we expect what should we expect from gold this new week what should we expect from gold this new week the really gold is not looking structurally it doesn't look doesn't really look nice but truthfully we might uh we're just in between either we'll break to the upside and continue going to make new highs or we'll break to the lower to base something and we'll, we'll make it down to this green bar I will make it down to this big this green bar. Right? So this is very important. It's important you know, to understand you understand this. So we just leave like on gold right now. I want to see okay, what's happened by close of Monday. I'm gonna keep building bearish. I'm gonna be bullish to this trend line or break the trend line. Breaking the trend line will give us more money. Yeah, I won't lie to you guys. Breaking the trend line is gonna give us more more money. So we want to see that happen, but we are not we are not ever gonna force that as an analysis on the market. Let the market, market, market print, let the market print and print and let it show us what it wants to do, and we just commit our funds that we make the money. It's as simple as that, right? It's just as simple as that. So guys, um, the next guy I want to look at to be oil right oil i kind of predicted oil quietly some time ago but not no, it was not in public i marked out this area and we got the area but i was just didn't want to take the tweet for this i can't explain because i didn't really trust the flow so, and uh, anytime i see a gap like this i don't really like it right i don't really like that i don't really like or trust that beer so that was why i can see us oil has gone this low wow higher high higher low so lower this is lower highs lower low lower highs lower low lower highs lower low but we're going to almost from another lower high before the drop before the drop of this base this is 7k mark it will come by again so from here i want to put my buy orders around your oil right i want to buy from here not from no, not from not from this point where some places are likely looking at. So this is likely looking at this point, but I want to, I won't want to look there. I won't want to look there. I want to see more collapse, more collapse on oil. To this point before we pick it up, right? So the next guy, on the the last but not the least, is uh, BTC. Oh, they have this. They have it here. They have it is here. Give me a second, guys. BTC. BTC. We are Okay, this is BTC USD and uh, okay. Come in, guys. Okay, this is this is outdated. This was my outdated analysis on BTC. BTC USD specific on what I want. From Binance. So this is BTC from Binance, USD from Binance. So BTC has just been for the past weeks, BTC has just been on this range. Right? Now that although there's a call for the bull run, that was gonna happen soon. Definitely it will happen. But definitely that we saw offset. There will be some upsets before the bull run. Some serious upsets will happen 
before the bull run. As somebody is already approaching uh, uh, February as a bull run. If we look at the trees from the chart. Is the chart advertising anything like bull run? Now, BTC chart is not giving anything bull run at all. It's not. Right? It's not giving anything bull on. So you want to take, you want to be very careful trading PTC especially. Uh, you want to be very careful trading PTC especially, right? So wait for it to clear away from this zone, either from this one or this level. So for you to be sure, clear on its direction, right? On, the, on, on its next move, right? And again, if you watch this video up to this point, a big congratulations to you. I trust you got so much, so much value for your time, and also uh, you've seen the pairs that I'm most likely to trade, especially to you, right? Gold. I want, it, I want a breakout. I want to see a breakout. Uh, you, uh, Euro USD. Let me get to that to that point. I want to see before I take anything. Uh, USD uh, Jeff to one person I like to look. I love to see. Right. So um, BTC is not ready. It's not ready for to for. It doesn't look so ready for the. One we are expecting to see, or not because we want to see a breakout. When they break out of this green green line, then we can be certain of the of the bull run, right? So, guys, um, again, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel. And again, if you want to sign up for my mentorship program, where I get to hold you by the hand and show you just how to trade the market like I do, and being able to duplicate my results using from the description below. You see our, our our products, our courses on seller.co. Please visit some of our programs and get started today with just two hundred dollars, right? And also, you can send me a direct WhatsApp message to access any of the programs or to make inquiries on any of our courses and mentorship programs on my books. I'll be glad to have you on board. So, for me to do this, we saying have a great trading week and enjoy the rest of the nights.